Hello, this is Shreshi, and I'm a PhD student at the Department of Biochemistry at MAN. And today I will be talking to you an important concept in biochemistry, an important biomolecule called as enzymes. So this session will be divided into two parts. First, where we learn a little bit about enzymes, what they are and how they function. And second, we will be learning about how enzymes function by actually where you get to witness the function of enzyme by working with two enzymes, bromelain and papain, and see how they digest proteins. The protein that we'll be looking at is gelatin. So let us begin with the first session. So, here is a slide that I have for you talking about what enzymes are. So enzymes are important protein molecules that basically act as catalysts and speed up the different chemical reactions that take place in our body. And enzymes can sometimes speed up reactions to a million, million times faster. So enzymes, as I said, they are protein molecules that contain an area called as active site. So these enzymes, they bind to molecules, certain molecules called as substrates, which basically have this conformation that matches with the active site of the enzyme. And why is this important? This is important for enzymes to be able to function, to be able to do the work that they need to do. So we have a substrate here, which whose conformation matches the active site of the enzyme. And this helps them to bind together to form the enzyme substrate complex. Once this enzyme substrate complex has been formed, then it undergoes transformation again for this substrate to be converted into products. And that is how these reactions, the biochemical reactions are supported by enzymes. And that is how different substrates get converted to important products that the body needs. The importance of enzymes in the body, enzymes play various roles, very important roles. Certain drugs need enzymes to, uh, you know, to interact for interaction so as to you know, perform, the, perform the function that they are supposed to uh, perform. So enzymes need, um, drugs need enzymes to be able to perform certain functions. Certain diseases uh, have shown that there is overexpression of certain enzymes, whereas certain diseases have shown that there is underexpression of enzymes. So this is how enzymes play a vital role for the body to function properly. And since it helps, it aids in the different biochemical reactions in our body, it is very important and plays a very major role in maintaining homeostasis in our body. So enzymes come in different types. We have protease class of enzymes, which are important for digesting proteins, which is what we will be learning about today or working with today where we'll be working with papain and bromelain, which are obtained from papaya and pineapple respectively, two uh, protease class of enzymes that digest proteins. Other than that, we also have lipases that digest fats. We have amylases that digest carbohydrates. So whatever we are taking in, eating, they have to be digested. And for these digestion processes, enzymes play a vital role. So for session two, let us see how bromelain, papain, the protein digesting enzymes perform or function. So here we have uh, this video that is going to demonstrate how you need to go ahead with the enzyme experiment. So According to the protocol sheet that you already have been given, let us first see what items you need for this experiment. But before beginning an experiment, 
it is important for, it is important to remind you that you will be needing your lab coats, your gloves, and your goggles. So making sure you have all of that, let us see how I am performing this experiment for you. And you can follow as you uh, want or also use the protocol sheet that has been provided to you as a guide. So you have your 10 gram of jello powder weighed out in this big 50 ml tube, which is labeled as solution A. Then you have these two 15 ml tubes, which has the labels no meat tenderizer and meat tenderizer, where one of them have meat tenderizer. And this is some extra meat tenderizer that has been provided as well as gel, extra jello powder that has been provided. And then some warm water. So first, what we take is the 10 gram jello powder that has been weighed out. Now, jello powder is basically, it's going to contain um, when we add water to it, which is what we'll be doing in the next step, 50 ml of water, this is going to form jello, which basically contains gelatin. So be very careful while adding the warm water. So what basically happens is gelatin is made out of animal protein. So when you add water to the gelatin, what happens is long chains of protein form and water gets trapped in the middle of these long chains and turns into solid. But first, what we are doing here is we are waiting for the jello powder to be completely dissolved in the water we added. And then we wait for it to cool down to room temperature. So once it has cooled down to room temperature, what we do is we will have to take the tube containing the meat tenderizer and add five ml of this jello powder water solution, which is called as solution A to the meat tenderizer tube. So five ml. And then we do the same with the tube that does not contain the meat tenderizer. We add five ml of solution A into the 15 ml tube containing no meat tenderizer. And then we mix them really, really well so that everything is dissolved. And then we keep them in an ice box to settle. Now, 
this is after keeping them in an ice box okay so what happens is if you notice the tube containing meat tenderizer which is basically what contains the enzyme papain and bromelain they digest proteins so they digested gelatin which is which was there in solution a and as a result of it that tube the solution has not solidified okay so you can still see the watery like solution it does not the the enzymes they eat away the protein gelatin there whereas for this one which is the tube that did not contain the meat tenderizer you have seen this nice gelatin like the gel like formation which is basically due to the protein gelatin which is intact so that is what is happening and that is what we have learned with the functions of propane uh, bromelain and uh, papain and that is why enzymes are really important because they help in maintaining certain structures of proteins as well as digesting some uh, proteins which are needed accordingly by the body and as a result helping in the thousands of chemical reactions taking place in our body i hope this was beneficial to you and you have successfully been able to witness the function of bromelain and papain and with that i will conclude this session and wish you guys all the best bye bye